In the latest over Malaysian Airlines Flight 370, search crews have found what they think may be pings from the aircraft black box. Well, once the exact location is determined, they'll send an underwater drone miles beneath the surface. But as the Wall Street Journal's Ramey Innocencio tells us, drone technology does come with limitations. Without wreckage, uh, we can't say it's definitely here. We've got to go down and have a look. Air Chief Marshal Angus Houston of Australia on the next step in the search for Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. And this is how they'll get that look. The Bluefin 21 underwater drone. Able to dive 4,500 meters and at four to six million dollars, one of the most advanced unmanned subs in the world. It is uh, one of the best in the world for this purpose. It produces extremely high quality data. It's using advanced underwater robotics uh, to be able to explore and understand a part of the world we can't get to. Last week, the Australian warship Ocean Shield set off for the Southern Indian Ocean with the drone ready to deploy. Once lowered into the sea, it'll use side-scanning sonar to look for submerged debris, multi-beam imaging to study the contours of the ocean floor in 3D, and a high-resolution camera for real imaging. But the Bluefin has limitations. For one, it's slow. You're trying to search an area the size of Poland, uh, and the vehicle can survey about 40 square miles uh, a day. That means a search could take more than eight years. It also can't operate below 4,500 meters. Luckily, the depth of the search zone maxes out at around 4,000. The deeper you go, the pressure increases. At the depths that are being discussed, 4,500 meters, uh, the pressure would be equivalent to having a Cadillac Escalade balanced on your thumbnail. And the Bluefin can't run forever. 20 hours is its battery life under ideal conditions. And there are some things it can't do at all like receive satellite commands while underwater. The solution, a pre-programmed search sequence, like mowing a lawn, and a surveillance system to help steer clear of obstacles. The Bluefin 21 has been deployed in past famous disappearances, including in the search for Amelia Earhart and her plane, lost in 1937. Her plane was never found. For MH370, the hope is that that won't happen. What I'd like to see now is us find some wreckage that will basically help solve the mystery. In the near future, Kelly says a new Bluefin model is already in the works. Current technology evolution is focused on uh, improved autonomy, uh, onboard processing of the sensors such that the vehicle uh, could process the data while it's being collected and changes behaviors based upon the data that it's seen. That technology would be commercially available in uh, a couple of years. For MH370, he adds the search could take months or even years in one of the most puzzling plane disappearances in history.